In these modules in arts for the second quarter, we will focus on the artworks of Renaissance and Baroque periods, specifically the most famous paintings and artists from the different art periods. This will be all the lesson for all the modules in arts this second quarter. Let's start with the artworks and artists from the Renaissance period. The Renaissance art period started in the year 1400 and lasted until 1600. Italian Renaissance began in the late 14th century. The word Renaissance comes from the word renaitre, which means rebirth. This era is a period of many changes. It is also the time of rebirth of the composers of modern era. The greatest cathedral building of the age was the rebuilding of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Many works of Renaissance art period depicted religious images, including subjects such as the Virgin Mary or Madonna, and were encountered by contemporary audiences of the period in the context of religious rituals. Architecture is a type of artwork from the Renaissance period which was characterized by its symmetry and balance. Now, I will introduce you to the famous Renaissance artists and their famous works of art. The first one is Michelangelo di Lodovico Bonorati Simoni. Michelangelo was an Italian sculptor, painter, architect, and poet. He was considered the greatest living artist in his lifetime. And ever since then, he was considered as one of the greatest artists of all time. Here are some of his famous artworks. Michelangelo created Bacchus, Moses, David, Dying Slave, Dawn and Dusk. He also created two of the most influential works in fresco in the history of Western art. The scenes from Genesis on the ceiling and the last judgment on the altar wall of the Sistine Chapel in Rome. Fresco is a technique wherein the pigments are mixed with water and directly painted onto the wall. One of Michelangelo's best known works is the Pieta and the other one is David, which were sculpted before he turned 30 years old. The picture shows the Pieta. One interpretation of this is that Mary is in robes and cradling a lifeless Jesus Christ. His head is flopped back against her shoulder and his legs are supported by his mother's arms. This was set after the time when Jesus had been crucified. Another famous Renaissance artist is Leonardo di Serpiero da Vinci. He was a painter, architect, scientist, and mathematician. He was popularized in present times through the novel and movie Da Vinci Code. He is known as the ultimate Renaissance man because of his intellect, interest, talent, and his expression of humanist and classical values. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest painters of all time and perhaps the most diversely talented person to have ever lived. One of Da Vinci's best known works is the Mona Lisa, which I know you are all familiar with. But who really is the girl in Mona Lisa painting? The painting's identity has not been definitively proven yet. Scholars and historians have posted numerous interpretations including that she is Lisa del Giocondo, the wife of the Florentine merchant Francesco di Bartolomeo del Giocondo, hence the alternative title to the work La Gioconda. Another theory was that the model may have been Leonardo's mother, Caterina. And a third suggestion was that the painting was in fact Leonardo's self-portrait given the resemblance between the sitters and the artist's facial features. Some scholars suggested that disguising himself as a woman 
was the artist's riddle. Another one of Da Vinci's best-known works is The Last Supper. This is the most reproduced religious painting of all time. This shows Jesus Christ having his last dinner with his twelve apostles. Another famous Renaissance artist is Raffaello Sanzio da Urbino, or Raphael in short. Raphael was an Italian painter and architect of the High Renaissance period. Together with Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, he formed the traditional trinity of great masters of the period. His main contributions to art were his unique draftsmanship and compositional skills. His famous works were the Sistine Madonna, the School of Athens, and the Transfiguration. One of Raphael's best-known works is the Transfiguration. This was Raphael's last painting on which he worked on up to his death. The Transfiguration shows the connection that Jesus provides between heaven and earth, and that people should follow the lessons provided by the Son of God. To emphasize this, Jesus is looking upwards to the sky to remind us that He provides the connection between the people on earth and God in heaven. The three disciples on the mountain represents faith, hope, and love. The scene at the bottom half of the painting symbolizes the inability of people to do miracles without the trust in God's abilities. Next Renaissance artist is Donato di Niccolo, di Beto Bardi, or in short, Donatello. Donatello was one of the Italian great artists of the period. He was an early Renaissance Italian sculptor from Florence. His works included the following statues and relief. David, Statue of St. George, Equestrian Monument of Gata Melata, Prophet Habakkuk, and the Feast of Herod. One of Donatello's best-known works is the Sculpture of David. At the time this was created, it was the first known freestanding nude statue produced since ancient times. But who is the David he is referring to in this sculpture? He is the David in the Bible story, David and Goliath. This sculpture shows David at a triumphant moment within the biblical storyline of his battle with the Philistine Goliath. According to the account, after David struck Goliath with a stone from his slingshot, he cut off his head with Goliath's sword. Here, we see the aftermath of this event as David stands in a contemplative pose with one foot atop his enemy's severed head. This time, let's proceed to the artworks and artists from the Baroque period. The Baroque art period started in the year 1600 and lasted up to 1800. The term Baroque was derived from the Portuguese word Baroco, which means irregularly shaped pearl or stone. Baroque developed in Europe around the 1600s. Baroque art aims to give an effect that wants to carry the viewers away with the force of its impact. In the 16th century, the Baroque style was carried by the Spanish and Portuguese to the Philippines. It influenced the Intramuros, which is the pre-colonial walled city of Manila. One of the famous Baroque artists is Michel Angelo Merisi or also known as Amerigi da Caravaggio. He was better known as Caravaggio. He was an Italian artist who wanted to deviate from the classical masters of the Renaissance. Caravaggio's models at this period were either himself or young persons who have an air of being promising but wicked. Among his famous paintings were Supper at Emmaus, 
Conversion of St. Paul, and Entombment of Christ. Another famous Baroque artist is Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Bernini was an Italian artist and the first Baroque artist. He practiced architecture and sculpture, painting, stage design, and was also a playwright. He was the greatest Baroque sculptor and architect as seen in his design of the Piazza San Pietro in front of the Basilica. It is one of his most innovative and successful architectural designs. The famous Ecstasy of St. Teresa was his greatest achievement and the colonnade of the Piazza of St. Peter's, Rome. Here is one of Bernini's best-known works, the sculpture of Ecstasy of St. Teresa. The Ecstasy of St. Teresa shows a scene that St. Teresa wrote about in her own autobiography. In it, she described an angel who pierced her heart multiple times with fire-tipped spear. St. Teresa's love of God and her desire for spiritual union with Him found expression in a vision which an angel pierced her heart with a golden spear and sent her into a dream. Next famous Baroque artist is Peter Paul Rubens. Rubens was a Flemish Baroque painter. He was well known for his paintings of mythical and figurative subjects, landscapes, portraits, and counter-reformation altarpieces. His commissioned works were mostly religious subjects, history paintings of magical creatures, and hunt scenes. His famous works were Samson and Delilah, Landscape with a Tower, and The Three Graces. Another famous Baroque artist is Rembrandt Hermenzoon van Rijn. Rembrandt was a brilliant Dutch realist, painter, and etcher. He is generally considered as one of the greatest painters and printmakers in European art. No artist has painted himself as often as did Rembrandt. His well-known work was his self-portrait in old age. Rembrandt had produced over 600 paintings, nearly 400 etchings, and 2,000 drawings. And the last artist from the Baroque period is Diego Velázquez. Velázquez of Spain developed out of the Baroque. He was one of the finest masters of composition and one of the most important painters of the Spanish Golden Age. He worked out solutions to pictorial problems of design that transcend the style of any period. His famous works were The Surrender of Breda, Las Meninas or the Maids of Honor, Los Baracos or the Drinker, and Maria Teresa. One of Velázquez's best-known works is The Las Meninas. It was painted in 1656. The word menina means lady-in-waiting or maid of honor, who is a girl that serves in a royal court. The Las Meninas shows a large room in the Madrid Palace of King Philip IV of Spain. Several people are in the painting, and we know who they are. Some are looking at one another, and others are looking out from the painting at the viewer, the person who is looking at the painting. And that concludes our lesson for arts in the second quarter, for the arts of Renaissance and Baroque periods. This time, I will show you the activities from the modules that you need to do. All the activities are from Module 1, 2, and 3 of your arts modules.
So as always, all the activities are answers only. For the ones that need explanation, it can either be in English or Tagalog. You may answer this online in the given links, or you can also write an answer sheet. Take a picture of your answer sheet and send it to me through chat.